Hello, everyone. This is Harinder Singh, Assistant Professor SO ET School of Engineering and Technology. Today, I'm going to discuss about class and object in C++ programming language. Okay. So what is the first of all, we will discuss in this lecture definition part with the example. So class definition, a class is a user defined data type. It is used to specify the form of an object and it combines data representation and methods for manipulating that data into one neat packages. And the data and function within a class are called member of the class and class definitions start with the keyword class. It is already defined in C++ programming, followed by the class name. Class name depends on user and the class body enclosed by a pair of curly braces. A class definition must be followed either by a semicolon or list of declaration. Now this is the syntax of class. Now class, then class name. Class name depends on user after the open body of class. Then we will use access specifier, private. Private, it is an access specifier. It is, it is used for to access the data within a class and we declare member data in a class. After that, we will use another access specifier that is called public, public used for anywhere in our program. Now, then member function and member data. After that, close the class body and semicolon. This is the syntax for class. Now, next we are moving on objects. A class provide the blueprint for object. So basically an object is created from a class. In other words, object is instances of classes. So we can say the object of class is instances of classes. And what is the syntax of classes and objects? First of all, we will write class name. After that, we will write object name, okay? Now accessing the data members by the public data members of, of object of a class can be accessed using the direct member access operator. So we can access all the member methods, member data by the dot operator. Let's have discuss demonstration of class and object by two numbers, addition of two numbers program. First of all, we will write class name followed by class keyword and class name is ABC depends on user. You can write by any name after that open the body of class by curly brackets. Then we will use access specifier private then colon symbol. Okay. And we will declare three variables integer X comma Y comma Z and data type is integer. Okay. Now next, we are using another access specifier that is called public and after that colon symbol. So public useful to access anywhere in our program and private access specifier useful within a class only. So in public, we will write member methods, void get data. This is called member method, void get data. It is depends of user. Void get data is a member method. Okay, it is depends on user. We can write by any name and void is a return type. So after that, we will open the member method or it is also called member function. The body of member method will open by curly bracket and we will use message enter the value of X, Y and we will take input from user by scene console input and we will enter X and Y value for addition. Then body of get data member function will close. Now next we are using another member method member function that is called cal data and return type should be void and <clears throat> this member function we will use to perform addition of two numbers and store the answer then void cal data means calculation of data member method so body of cal data will open and x plus y addition perform over here and assign the answer in z variable after that we will use void display So addition of two variable will store in Z variable 
and after that we will use another member method member function that is called void display method it is also depends on user we can write by any name and follow by return type void and open the body of void display member method and we will print the console output message the sum of two number stored in z variable so we will print z variable over here and close the member function body display after that close the body of class follow by semicolon now we will create object so we will write main function over here after that open the body of main function and the syntax of object creation is class name followed by object name and semicolon so class name of our program is abc and object is also depends on user we can write by any name so i will take name Z o, o variable this is the object name no, sorry object name and we will <coughs> access the member function by object name so object name is o then we will use dot operator to access the member function member method by class get data is a member function member data uh, member function member method of class similarly we will access cal data member cal data member function or we can say invoke the member method by object so object name o dot member function name member data name after that we will invoke display method it is present in class abc so all three methods we will invoke or we access by object by or through object after that we will close the get ch function and close the main function body this is the simple addition of two numbers by using classes objects member function and member data